I'm Ron with Above and Beyond Creative Sewing, and I have a great treat for you today working with Stitch Creator on the Foff Creative Icon. I've used the Stitch Creator for many years. They've had it on a lot of different Foff models through the years, um, and I really like it because I could take stitches and alter them. I can take a three-leaf flower uh, or leaf, and I could take one of the petals off so there's only two. I could take things and triple stitch them so that they show up darker. But I've always said in all my demonstrations and any time I've taught this, I'm not going to do something from scratch because I can't draw and that's just not for me. But I found that it really wasn't so hard. I'll show you how I did it. The first thing I did was I had to pick up subject. So I have chickens and I thought it'd be nice to have a little chicken stitch. But when you're working with Stitch Creator, you're working nine millimeters. You're making sewn stitches, really, really tiny stitches. So all the chickens I found were really no, um, they were just too busy. They weren't going to show up in such a small size. But they'll forgive me for using their drumsticks because the drumstick came out very well. Um, so what I did, I took a drumstick that I found online and I printed it. And then I put a grid. If you can see the grid, I just went straight across and, um, and then I started laying it out. The problem was I started here and ended here. So what happened is as I sewed, the whole, the whole stitch skewed. So I wound up going crooked. So I did another one. I printed it, and this time I took the the grid that I made and I put it in line with the with the project. So it's going to start here and it's going to end directly in line at the bottom, and that's going to allow it to sew straight. You know, a sewing machine when you work your sewing machine, it finishes the stitch, it starts the next stitch. They have to start on the same plane, otherwise it skews as it goes. So each stitch is just a little bit to the left or to the right of the other one. So now I got them all straight. Then I imagined in my head, I have these little arrows here. I, I kind of just traced it because I had to figure out some of it has to be doubled in order to get back. So I decided I was going to come down and up. Then I was going to go back and then around here and then go back to there. And then I'd be at the end. So I planned that all out. Then I labeled the stitches, one, two, three, four, so that I would know as I was going where I was within the project. Then I went to Fof Stitch Creator. Here's my finished chicken leg. So we're going to start over. So what I did was I went to Stitch Creator. And when you go to Stitch Creator, you get a blank screen. And I touched Edit. Then I created a stitch. Okay, and that first stitch actually creates two. The stitch you start with and then one below. Then I just take it and drag it up to where I want it to be. And I get close. I found that it's really hard to get it exactly where I want it. So I just used the little arrows here once I get started. Then I add my second stitch. And I drag it up kind of, oops, I drag it up, get it kind of close to where I want it to be. And then I have my third stitch. And what I started to do, you can see I have a grid. So I would go, well, that's from center. It's one over. Then it was one over and down maybe a quarter. Then it was one over and down almost three quarters from the top line. And I moved them along like that. I'm going to do this a little bit quicker here for the sake of your sanity. Um, but I just added them and I, and I put them on the grid based on my drawing. Then when I went all the way around and I needed to back up, I would add a stitch and I would just go back. And you can actually see when you're right on top of the next stitch. And then I would go back again. And you see how it knows the direction I'm going, so it heads the stitch in the right direction for me already. But that's a double stitch right on top of one another, and you can't tell where, um, where it's doubled on the screen, and it's going to stitch out very much the same way. So um, after I'm done with that, I hit OK, and then it created the stitch for me. Now, because I just created this new stitch, it's going to make a really short little thing there. Um, but then I sewed it out. When I sewed it out, this is the end result. So the four are just in a row. So let's say I was having a barbecue and I wanted to make some aprons, or some bibs, maybe uh, we're having some, some barbecue chicken. It's going to be really messy. So we could run that right around the bib and have a nice little decorative stitch. Or maybe I wanted an individual one. So then I just told it to make one and I got my own little drumstick there. So it was a fun, easy thing to do. It was much easier than I thought. I still can't draw, but I can print and I can measure out half inch lines and make a grid. Uh, I used half inch because it worked for this project. I figured the width of the project was about six inches, so I divided that out. It's about a half an inch to get nine millimeters across. Nine times doesn't go into six well. I estimated. It gave me a good template to start with. If you're using something smaller, you may need a small you may need to use different 
spacing between your grid, something larger, a little different spacing, until you get it right. Because whatever you do here, even though this is this huge, when I sew it out, that's the size it's going to be. Because I'm sewing, I'm not embroidering. Now, of course, this is a Faf Creative Icon. You can take any sewn stitch and embroider it. So you could bring it into embroidery and make it much larger if you wanted to. That's a class for another day. So thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the future. I'm Ron from Above and Beyond Creative Sewing.